As you know from my previous videos, I like to build small drones, small cars, small FPV, um, hovercrafts and stuff like that. Sometimes I just go to Thingiverse and uh, scroll down and search for things I can print. And um, because I don't like it when this printer is not working, I don't know why, but it has to do something. So when I scroll down on Thingiverse, I found this cool RC tank, um, but it was quite big, so I thought Okay, let's take this and uh, make it just a little bit smaller. So at the beginning I wasn't sure if this would work in the end because I had to scale down all the bearings, all the screws, all the nuts and I just wasn't sure if this would fit in the uh, final tank at the end. But it did work as you saw in the teaser at the beginning of this video. So let me just show you really quick how I built this thing. So I simply downloaded all the STL files I found on Thingiverse and then I did put them in the slicing program called Cura and from there you just have to use the scaling option and they are scaled it from 100% to 50% and printed out all the parts I got on the download files. The only thing I had to make myself was the mounting plate for the motor because the mounting holes from the very small Outrunner motors I used were a little bit different from the or original 1 10th scale motors. So I did the same thing for all the bearings and screws. Just take a look at the size of a, a bearing for example. If it is a diameter of 10, you take a bearing with a diameter of 5 millimeters. So after I printed out all the STL files, which took quite a long time, I mounted the main chassis and also added the bearings to all the wheels. I decided to make some rubber pads for the chain and as I made the first one I already regretted it. It took me hours to cut and glue them, but the final result was definitely worth it. I took two SK3 motors and two 10 amp ESCs from Hobby King and my standard receiver from Frysky I use in all my other projects. As in my previous projects, I also made a wiring plan for this one, so you can just pause the video and copy it. Yeah, finally I installed all the electronics, wired everything up and checked if the binding is okay. I also added a small FPV camera at the front of the chassis, I just drilled two holes in it and mounted it with uh, two small screws. Yeah, the function of the small tank is the same as you saw in my previous projects, the mini hovercraft. Um, with the only difference that this time the ESC has a reverse function because this is a car ESC and usually boat ESCs don't have that reverse function. Okay, that's it. I would say I covered everything up. So let's move out and test it.
Okay, this thing is super fun. It works perfect and much better than I expected. And also the plastic did a very nice job. Nothing bent or broke and also the FPV camera works perfect. I thought, okay, the field of view might be a little bit too small and the, the view wasn't really high because the tank is so small. I thought, okay, I wouldn't see enough to control it, but that wasn't the case. I could control it very nice, even though it is so small. And the only thing that stopped my first test was a loosened pinion because the pinions are so small and the screws are even smaller. I couldn't tighten it up as much as I wish I could. So it just became loose and I couldn't uh, run this thing anymore. Very sad. I think the next time I'll use some super glue to mount all the nuts because it seems like they really like to get loosened. And uh, I lost one or two nuts, but that's not too bad. I have some in my um, spare parts. So as always, you can find all the products I use in my project down in the description below. And also a link to the guy that designed this small tank. Uh, thanks again, you did a really nice job, this thing works perfect. Yeah, if you like my video, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I hope to see you on the next video. That what not, that what not, that what not, that... It's so... <laughs>